Hey, 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 spice lovers! It's your girl. Bring on the spice! I'm back again with yet another YouTube video. Today we're baking my very own version of sugar cookies with our eggs, baking powder or baking soda. Let me show you how to make it. You'll be needing just five ingredients. Start out by measuring 142 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. Here I'm just trying to get the exact measurements. Then measure out 180 grams of all-purpose flour. Then half a cup of granulated sugar. And then in a bowl, beat the butter and vanilla extract with a mixer until cream. You'll need half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Here, I'm just trying to get out the creamed butter before moving on to the next phase. Then add the sugar and mix until well combined. Then add half teaspoon salt and mix again. Add the flour and then you have to beat it on low until it's well combined. Make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl periodically. At this point, I like to use my hands to knead it so it sticks together and forms a dough. Um, remember to be patient. Patience is very important. This was the consistency. Then you want to shape the dough into a rectangular-like prism. You could use a rectangular shape dish to make it easier. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm pressing down lightly and shaping it into the shape of the dish I used. To smooth over the top, I'm folding the parchment paper. And then I took a glass mug with a flat bottom and used it to press on top of the dough until the surface smoothened. Again, patience is important. Then place it in the refrigerator to chill until it's firm. That will be at least an hour. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then, using a sharp knife, divide the rectangle into two along the length side. like so then cut each half into two to three inch slices more or less I'm just eyeballing it so they're not exactly equal. Place the slices spaced at least an inch and a half apart to two inches onto a baking sheet lined with a parchment paper. When you're done arranging, bake for about 10 minutes, rotating the baking sheet in the oven halfway through. Then you'll transfer to a wire sheet to cool. 
I let mine cool overnight and then I had it with coffee the next day. I really, really love these cookies because they're so easy to make. They're sweet, chewy, slightly crumbly and buttery. By the way, if you like our content, smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more of it, smash that subscribe button. Also, feel free to leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.